Okay, guys, let's look at exchange rates. The first thing I'm asked is how many rands will I get for $50? First thing I need to do here is write what I'm given. So $1 is equal to 18 rand and 47. They are asking me about $50 and then I don't know what that is in rand. You will notice that in this method, the dollars are on one side and then the rands are on the other side. You have to stay consistent with that for this method that I'm going to show you. Now, what I'm going to show you then is what I call the seventh method. It's just drawing a seven. It's a seventh method, but it's actually cross multiplication made easy. So here is X. I'm going to start drawing the seven from the number that's next to X, right? From the neighbor of X. In this case, the neighbor of X is 50. So I'm going to start drawing that seven. So go to 18 and then bounces off to one. So how do you read this? You're going to say X is equal to 50 times by 18 comma for seven and then divided by one. Answer you're gonna get is in rands, as you can see X was in rands, it will be 923 rands and 50 cents, right? Let's look at number two. For number two, they are asking us, what will 50 rands cost in dollars? Right, same thing guys, you're going to put what you have, $1 is equal to 18 rand and 47. Then what do you have? You have rands. So I'm going to put 50 rands on the right hand side. As you can see, rands, rands. And that means dollars will go on my left hand side and that will be X. Then where do I start drawing my 7? As I told you, I always draw my 7 from the neighbor of X. In this case, it is 50 rands, so I'll draw like that. So what does this mean, right? So this means that X is actually equal to 50 times by 1 divided by 18 rand and 47. And then you get your answer, and your answer will be dollars. Your answer is 2,71. Guys, I like this method because of one thing and one thing only, that um, you don't have to sit there and think that now that I have 50 rands, do I have to divide? Or now that I have um, $50, do I have to multiply with the rands or do I have to divide? You don't do that. The seventh method just does it for you quite nicely as long as you're consistent on both ends.